Five million in the bank. Lucas Glover is on an absolute tear, and I'm going to show you the reason why Lucas is ball striking it so well. What we see in the setup is that Lucas has quite a lot of knee bend, and his hands are quite significantly low at address. The low hands are just to, due to the fact that he is quite tall, and the knee bend is most likely just allowing him to get this club closer to the ground because he is a tall human being. So as he takes the club away, you'll notice that his hands are going to work closer towards his thighs and that's adding in some hand depth. So the depth of his hands is getting deeper or further behind him. Now, as he takes it up to the top of the backswing, this is where you're gonna start to see the move that Lucas does exceptionally well to be able to hit those compressed draws that he hits and still produce an unbelievable amount of rotation and his body functions extremely well. You will notice that the club shaft is in a slightly laid off position at the top of the swing here. And now as he transitions into the downswing, that club shaft is going to get more horizontal the further he gets into his downswing. If I just take it back to the top there and we measure that shaft angle or that shaft alignment, what you'll start to notice is this club shaft as he transitions towards the downswing or towards impact this club shaft is going to continue to work more and more horizontal you'll start to see that the later in the downswing the more horizontal this club shaft gets and the important thing to recognize is that there is a big part to do with his hands as to why this club shaft is working in the way that it does so if we take it back to the top here, and what we're gonna do is measure his hand path. What I'm gonna do is just draw some marks on how his hands travel in the downswing. And what you'll start to notice is that his hand path is working outwards. And the more his hand path work out, works outwards, the shallower this club shaft gets. So if we connect those dots there, you'll notice that he starts to work the hands straight down to begin with, and then they start to work more in this direction here. And if done correctly, that is going to apply a force to the shaft that is going to get the club shaft to be more horizontal. And then you're going to start to see this position here, which is an unbelievable position to get your body and club into. So when we measure this position, you'll notice that that club shaft alignment is most certainly outside the ball line. So that's a big tell to know that we have shallowed this golf club. And Lucas does an incredible job of that, which is helped by his outward hand path. And after impact, you'll notice that he gets into an extremely open position, both with his chest and with his hips. But he's still hurt a draw. So when you're hitting a draw, you're going to need to get the club path to work more out to the right relative to if you were hitting a fade. And most of the time when your rotation and the downswing is happening, then the club path is going to get more in this direction here. So Lucas offsets this with how he works the club in the downswing, getting that club shaft to get into this horizontal position here. He's able to allow his body to fire and turn the corner as much as he possibly wants and this golfer will still come out as a draw, which is one of the biggest reasons as to why Lucas is such an extremely good ball striker. It's really no surprise to me that Lucas has won the last two tour events. His swing technique is absolutely incredible, and he is an absolute baller, and he's basically just doubled his career earnings.